right five to seven on the first of october season's just opened this morning <coughs> it's been uh, a couple of months fish have been spawning snow's been falling i am down at the yukon bean this morning which is going to be packed it's not my first pick uh, but it should be pretty interesting fishing hopefully it's uh, pretty tough fishing which will mean to test a bit of our skills uh, I did have a go have a look at the snow in that yesterday I've been up in the um, in the higher altitudes doing some backcountry alpine stuff over the last week or so uh, so I might upload some of that footage as well Saw some uh, nice rivers there, saw a few fish walking back uh, along the trail. Uh, unfortunately, during the ski season, I uh, broke my leg in the terrain park, trying to do some tricks, which I probably shouldn't have been doing. Uh, so I've got a bit of an issue with my leg still. Uh, it's not too bad, but, um, but it's, uh, not too bad, but it's definitely hurting a bit when I walk on rocks or uneven ground. Uh, so I need to... Well, so I figured I'd come fish the Yukon Bean because I know it's nice and flat. It's a bit easier going uh, than the Snowy, which is obviously a freestone. A lot of rocks, a lot of jumping, a lot of weight on one leg. Uh, the only fallback for that is this is going to be chock a block with fishermen heaps of guys up at the uh, campsite at the moment but i think a few fire fishermen some spinners yeah, it's all good we're using the euro rig i don't know how fast it's going to be running but i'm guessing it's probably pretty quick if uh, the other rivers that i've been looking at seem to go off with the snow melt we've had quite a bit of rain as well so uh, fish are going to be deep and you'll be holding the slow pockets uh, the good thing about the euro nymphin though is that as long as the guys haven't stomped through the water and really freaked out the fish then we should be able to work a lot of the runs that haven't been fully fished and maybe get a few uh, i'm guessing everyone's starting here and working their way up so we'll just wait and see i suppose that's flowing quick. Those runs are long. There's a bit of water in there. That's pretty deep as well. Oh, those dudes are going to struggle with the indicator rigs. <laughs> oh, let's get started. This amnesia goes, it's been on the, the real. whole off season Let's see if it keeps its memory hopefully not it's not meant to it's pretty good last season i really liked it I'll just give it a bit of a stretch out it's pretty good busy off season just a lot of perdigons in different colors had a couple of blow torches and i've got these glow bugs i've done up but i don't really want to fish them no, I can probably catch pretty easy with them, but they do drag a bit. I'm trying for natural drift. Uh, so what's that? 2.0, 2.8, and then I think it's 3.8. Um, so that's moving quick. I'm just going to go trusty old. It's got a bit of an orange collar hot spot there, uh, which might trigger a bit for a, a, a glow bug type style. Um, but that's heavy. I've got split shot if I need to, but. Rather not fish split shot. Um, I think I've got this bit of fluoro still on here. This looks all good. Pretty solid. Might as well reuse it. It's long enough. Um, yeah, we'll soon see. Hopefully this hits bottom. Yeah, a bit lighter, but that is deep and it's moving real quick. And this is the heaviest I've got. Alright, I'm just going to fish one fly um, to begin with. Beginning of the season, I don't cast much, bit of a wind. Just gonna 
get the get back into the flow. Two flies always a bit more difficult. I get a bit tangled in that. Ah, oh, this got about this grass. A little bit rusty. Still struggling to get down. I want to use use it, but I might need to pull out the split shot. How you going? Hey? Yeah, nice. Um, it's moving quick. I don't think I'm getting deep enough. Got a 3.8 on there, but I might need to put split shot, which is not ideal, but it's moving quick. So it's, I can see it's not really getting down, hey? Yeah, I'll see, because I'm guessing people have been fishing here. But they might have missed these bits. There'll be fish still holding there. Just fish like the not so obvious spots and yeah, yeah. hope for the best. Uh, you too. You're going to have a fish? Uh, yeah, nice. Enjoy. Oh, finally hooked one. Lost him though. Thought maybe it was a rock. Tough fishing. So he was in that fast moving water. I'm not fishing a lot of the river because it's quite fast moving and can't reach. And I think he's. Sick that fella. Looking a bit taunt, thought it's a bit skinny. Well, maybe it's just his hip bone. A bit chilling. Glow bug, I think. Yeah, the glow bug. Fabulous hook, should come out nice and easy. Beautiful. Finally, first bit of nice water as well. Just here. Bit of slow. Uh, where can these pools? Not much luck though. Look, I'm fishing them pretty well. Covering all of it. Alright, no 
a super productive day. I just landed that one, missed her, or hooked the other, a second one, and that's about it. The sun's coming out, maybe it'll warm up a little bit, might make him a bit more active. Maybe people will fish this part, who knows. I feel like I'm fishing it pretty well. Um, but anyway, stopped for lunch. Just gonna make some soup, got the jet boil. Fortunately, I didn't need a bit of a smaller gas. This is the only one I had in the car. Take the jacket off, put it in the uh, wet weather bag. Got some chicken drumsticks. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been trying a lot of purdy guns, different colours. I haven't had any success yet on this river, but I normally have a lot of success with those purdy guns. Uh, fish in the fast water. I might try again after lunch. Maybe some of the black ones I haven't tried yet. I lost a couple of the pink ones. Otherwise, maybe try swinging some flies. It won't work. Keep trying, beginning of the season, it's always tough fishing. You get back into it as well, the old arm and shoulders hurting a little bit from casting so much. Yo, alright, extended the leader, put on a decent nymph, taking off a split shot. We're in that fast water. The rainbow, push around our battery halfway through the fight. Um, it wasn't that large. Took the oh, ouch! Oh, that's right on my oh, right on my bad leg. Oh, ah, it's pretty tough. Go ah, tough going through here. It's always like this when you get into these canyony bits. Net's always a bit of a hassle. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pretty fast moving, but yeah, I don't know. Yes. We're on. Come on. Woohoo! Feeling good now. Getting the fly. I know where they're sitting. We got the good. I got a good uh, good depth on there now. That leader. Ah, come on. That's another. Ooh. In that fast stuff. We got the four times. Tip it. If I can afford to just drag him a bit. Yeah. Oh, they shake that nymph pretty easily. Oh, nice brown. Go on. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, come back. Nice. Just using my trusty. Pretty gone nymph, larger bead. I think it's that black peacock, uh, chenille type stuff that I use with an orange collar. Blue right collar. Oh yeah, nice. I sort of know where they're sitting now. So although I'm casting up there, it's so quick. So he's a Perdigon, so it's going deep, quick, and it's cutting through the water, but I'm only really fishing about now. That cast far away is not great. You sort of get a pull on the... So I don't think it looks natural. The most productive 
I've been is when it's sort of right at my rod's length underneath there like that. It's going to be your most natural run, but geez, it's getting pretty white watery there, but looks like, oh, that little bit right there might be right. We'll fish this bit, actually. If I can get there, yeah. Falling over. Oh. Oh, I need to go a lot slower. Oh, that's just jarred my leg. Ah, ah. Why don't I do this to myself? Now, every time, oh, that one feels like it's got some weight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice looking fish. Oh, yeah, hey, hey. Oh, look at that. Nice rainbow. Keep that pressure on. Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Woohoo! Oh man. Not a bad looking fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, nice size rainbow. Oh. Yeah. Alright, very on again. I was going to say, didn't feel that big, but it just flashed. It's like an alright size. Where am I going to land him? Good question. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, wow. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh. Oh, come on, boy. Good size fish. Oh, got some weight on him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. That was the best size fish of the day. A good size. Oh, you know, he managed to hook the tree instead. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe I should have gone down there a bit. Never put a lot of pressure on him. Oh, somehow tangled around this mess. Oh, how did I not hit that tree? There he is. Oh, no good size one. Woo! Oh, no, he's in that run. Oh, I'm not getting back down there. Let's see if I can bring him around. Oh, fish everywhere. That sun's coming out to warm up. It's the afternoon. Getting right up at the head there. Oh man. Oh, it's a good size brown. I'm going to do this. Yes! Woo! 
turtle down. Oh, what a brown. Beautiful. Still uh. down. Oh. Oh, slow start. Oh, it's a beautiful looking fish. Oh, the size of him. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. See you later. Woo! Cooking him now. It's getting good. He was just sitting off there. Things from tough this morning, like no fish, nothing. Now every second cast, getting hit, good sized fish. He was sitting just there. Oh, it's got to be fish just in here as well. He's just all over the place now. I didn't take one this morning, but I might do it now. Let's just get a bought this on Amazon. It's just a meat. Thermometer, food thermometer. Uh, what have we got? 8.9 degrees. It's 9 degrees. 48 degrees Fahrenheit. 8.9 degrees Celsius. Because they're feeding now. I've, I should have taken one this morning and seen. There was a change, 8.9, um, but they've come on a bit. Nice run over there, wouldn't mind fishing that. Let's just fish this shallow water. I don't think there's anything here, but it's very shallow. Oh, look at that water over there, looks gorgeous. Oh, just a little one. Sitting in the car out there. Oh, yep. The rainbow's got some, got some blue fight to him. Yeah, come on. looks nice there could be a fish in here from here when you're up on the bank here you can probably see me all oh, right pretty productive day it's uh tough fishing early on and then later on as well uh, but it really came on around I think like two o'clock caught those several fish decent size all in the typical runs so, I don't even know if it's worth really getting up early tomorrow morning they're only really going to come on once it starts warming up <laughs> 